Stevens T. Mason was the first governor of Michigan and was really the man who made statehood happen for us. It is Stevens and he actually to his family was Tom. Uh, his middle name was Thompson. So Stevens Thompson Mason and his family always called him Tom. He was secretary of the Michigan Territory. He was often acting governor of the Michigan Territory. George Porter, who was our territorial governor, was frequently out of the state, which meant Stevens T. Mason really became the face of Michigan to many people. And Stevens was very interested in pushing the question of statehood. Michigan had been looking at becoming a state for several years. The problem was, we had an unsettled border with the state of Ohio, and thus comes the stories of the Great Toledo War, which wasn't a war. It was a political war more than anything else. They call him the boy governor because he was very young. He was 19 when he was acting secretary of the territory. He was 24 when we elected him state governor in 1835. So he's the youngest governor in American history in any state. And his record is safe, at least in Michigan, because you now have to be 30 to run for governor. Michigan was a little bit like the Wild West in those days. And there's a story that a a particular newspaper that was connected with the opposing political party started referring to him as the boy governor, which he took as an insult. Well, in broad daylight, on a busy street in Detroit, he confronted this particular writer and ended up, according to some versions of the story, slugging him in broad daylight, which to some extent only proved his immaturity. But People in Michigan loved him. He was a little rough, he was a little impetuous, but they wanted someone who was brave, who was lively, who was willing to take risks to allow us to settle that statehood question. In 2010, Stevens T. Mason was disinterred yet again as they were working on Capitol Park, and the decision was made to bring his remains up to Lansing, to the state capitol. Tradition allows that governors of the state of Michigan may request that their remains lie in state when they pass away. And so for one day, Stevens T. Mason actually came to the Capitol in Lansing and his remains were in state on the glass floor. Mm -hmm.